Okay, so in this situation I've got this um, candle holder closer to the camera than the wall is. So if I try and take a picture on automatic, um, yeah, automatic focus of this. And we play that back. You'll see that the the brick wall behind the the candle holder is blurred. But maybe I want to blur the candle holder and put the brick wall in focus. So what I can do is I can still keep that same framing. But if I just press the manual focus button here, switch to manual focus on the end, and press function set to save, you'll see this box comes up that I can use to focus. Now, if I just concentrate on the wall for now. Um, I can turn the wheel either right or left depending on how close I want to focus and you'll see there's a measurement in feet so I'll, I either want to go to an object that's further away from me or an object that's closer and that will determine whether I turn to the right or the left so in this case the wall is further away than the flower the flower holder, candle holder was so I'm just going to turn the wheel to the right because we're going to move to an object that's further away And you can see at the top here, it says manual focus, and there's also an, a green arrow. Oh, hope you can see it. A green arrow on either side of that manual focus box. Um, when you get too far, it can't try and focus any further. One of those arrows will grey out. So you can see we've got the brick wall here. The brick wall is quite nicely in focus. So now, if we get that framing back, take that picture. you see that now the brick wall is in focus but the candle holder isn't. So that is it's a good example of using the manual focus. Um, quite often you just want to focus on one bit of the picture. Maybe you've got a picture next to a tree and one of the branches is causing you to focus on the branch and not the object behind. It's great to be able to manually focus behind so you don't have to move or change the framing of your shot. So that's using the manual focus.